Hello, 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 and welcome everybody to Hogwarts Legacy. Last we left off, we found this room in this cave. Uh, I believe, I forget his name, Jack Daw or something like that. We were kind of pursuing a lead for uh, the headmaster's wife. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how this ties into the whole story, but uh, yeah, we got to go find a book. And after that, we can talk to big giant painting man i found the pages and the map chamber why would i need the book i know honestly seems a bit much hello oh nice to see you my young friend yes 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 nice to see you too ma'am okay well let's go up this giant spiral staircase i think we're still in the forbidden forest unless we were teleported somewhere else Revelio. is that a chest it is okay oh it's one of those chests Thank you. Your gear slots are full. Gosh, that's kind of violent. <laughs> I just killed that thing. Um, hopefully the book's upstairs. Dungeons. That's what this place is called, dungeons. I'm back at Hogwarts. Oh, wait, what? I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns to the book. Interesting. Gear slots are full. That's getting really annoying. I'm going to do some shuffling of the old gear. And by shuffling, I mean deleting one item that was very not valuable and uh, saving the next one. I need to go sell the gear slots. You though. need to learn to pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. It was a long time ago. Leave me free! You've made your point! <laughs> Poor guy. Shouldn't have done it, whatever he did. But now we have another quest going for us. Let's go straight to the quest, come on. Uh, Professor Sharp's assignment. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire maxima and endure potions. <gasps> Flying class? Oh my gosh. I don't... We are doing that immediately. I want a brew. Oh man. Where is that at right now? Please give it to me. Uh, outside on the courtyard. Understandable. I am extremely excited. I have been waiting to get a broom for so long. I am much excitable. Um, man. Have I... What is that? Is that a broom? Is that moving? That was weird. I'm gonna go outside now. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. It's all coming together. Hello. I guess we're waiting till daytime. Why fly at night? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm everybody here. grab a broom and we shall get started. Is she coming down the stairs? Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Oh, nice. Yeah, insult it. That'll be a good idea. Up. There you go. Mike Oxlong showed him how it's done. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. It's raining.
that dude's seriously like a and if you hear my like whistle while you're in flight ground yourself at once good now for your first lesson fly through each ring in the courtyard okay. do aren't take too bad. care the brooms ah. are school ah. property i think i'm I getting the hang of this in one piece okay Excellent. not too bad not too bad Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Are we going to go Mach 3? What do we got? I just ran into somebody. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> it is quite pleasant. Hello! Nice day for a flight! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brilliant! I kind of wish I could go a little faster. But that is very cool. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. Someone, someone very near and dear to us died in there. Uh, these controls, again, uh, very smooth. I thought I would have messed them up whenever I was kind of moving the hotkeys around. But thankfully, it seems kind of untouched. Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> There's a crack in the lake. It's wonderful. I went swimming in, in that, just like, no hesitation. I'm not a big fan of the ocean myself. I have quite a fear of it if you followed me for a little bit Good. and heard me talk about I've it. Got this. Not a fan. But uh, Surviving the Abyss is a pretty good game. I'll hopefully I'll get back into it here in a little bit. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Uh, for the content, yeah. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Okay. Are we about to, I was about to say, are we about to fly through those nice little windows? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Oh, very Bit pretty. claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's know, something handy know. to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. Okay. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Oh, I see it runs out. Oh, what a shame. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Oh, Flying sure. tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Let's go fast. Let's go fast. I want to go faster. Oh my gosh, am I drifting this That's thing? That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Oh my gosh, the dude just bolted off. Oh. I wish I could go that fast. I'm sad. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Okay. Just press B. All right. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... sti because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. Yeah, you tell. As for you... 
You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. It's okay, Mike Oxlong. You did good today. You did good, good. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Oh, how sweet. So, we have a broom now? Please? Uh... That is unfortunate that we, uh... Do not seem to have said broom. I am sad. Okay, well, what other quest do we got? Nothing quite yet, but let's go ahead and track that. Acquire a focus potion, acquire maxima and endurance potions, and use them simultaneously. Is there... No, I didn't think there was a specific... I've not event. forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. What game is this? Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Okay. We just got a bunch of uh, mail. Which one's the main quest? Okay. Conjuring spell or comfringo? I I want to continue in the main story, honestly, to unlock that broom. So we're gonna keep keep heading down the main story line. Line. Also, there's a lot of really cool games coming out. Atomic Heart, which I'm wanting to cover. Purple Space Program, and um, one other one. I talked about it before, but man, all these games coming out while I'm still in the middle of Hogwarts is a little stressful, but um, hopefully I'll be able to keep up a good upload schedule for you. The mind. Yes, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. One I'm looking forward to most is KSP2. Very excited about that. I'm not exactly sure what content there will be to cover, but I'm sure I'll do some gameplay of it. Over here. Sebastian Swallow? What? Where? Oh, jeez. Okay, he's right there. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Okay. This way. Lead the way, my man. Very spooky. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I don't see him. There's a lot of weird stuff in Hogwarts, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised if there was tons more. Okay. An Undercroft. I'll just enter this then. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Oh. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister. Incendio. And she loved that infernal Rebellion. game. Rebellion. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, 
keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Hey, sounds good to me. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. He related to I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Um, that's a ridiculous. A proper magical <laughs> education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Thank you. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Let's do it. Alec the Blam. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Okay. Stick to the target. Assign new spells. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good for you. Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. Yes. You'll get used to it. That's it. Well done. Devastating magical power. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Okay. Here. Here. The blast does there. heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Uh, sure. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Oh, no. Or meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Uh. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. I am going to tell all my friends. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay, gear slots are full. Complete Merlin trials to increase your gear slot capacity or sell excess gear at vendors. Really? Merlin's gear is 
or trials do that. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna go travel somewhere and sell most of this stuff. Apparently we're going to Hogsmeade maybe next? I don't think so. Oh. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Oh. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh. That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Okay. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Yikes. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Confringo! <laughs> just blast him in the back. All right, well, it's a little Akko Taco. We just uh, became a home wrecker. Purchase a broom. Yes, that is what I want. Most of all, I want a freaking broom. Uh, I'm guessing that's at Hogsmeade, right? Wait, what is this place? Oh, yeah, Hogsmeade. Let's do it. Ugh, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, okay. I'm always worried that whenever I fast travel, it's going to break my game. It uh, seems to do that. A Does bit. it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? It really doesn't. Oh, give me one second. Back at it again with the mic fans. Okay. The ministry's good work. It. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, give me oh, broom. Oh, new face. Wonderful. Silence, Hello. man. I need broom. Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay. Um, sure. Why you not? said Just disrupted ask. trade routes caused you to close, Spent Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Okay. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you ones darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Okay, thank you. I want a Sounds broom. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Give, 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 give. What are we looking for today? Well, let's have a look see. So there's no benefits to any of these. That item is of the highest quality. Okay. Oh, it's a crotch rocket broom. <laughs> that item is of the highest quality. I, I mean, I guess I'll get an Ember Dash. That's... It's vanilla, but... You'll be thrilled with that super broom. Interesting I promise you. Take this room... Take this to the room requirement to reveal its qualities. Okay, well, I'm going to sell everything. That's nice not doing business what I'm with you. right now. Get some gear slots back. No trade apply, that's fine. That's better. Get rid of that. 
And I guess the room of requirements will happen eventually. Okay. I have a broom. Ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for stopping by. We got him. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, like that, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yeah. I I would ask the questions, but I... That sounds intriguing. Yeah. What I I'll see what on. I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Okay, so we have... Once uh, you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Wizarding uh, races. Just a side quest. So how do I, the almighty Bubba Kanoosh, go about hopping in the room? Is it just B? Ah, <sighs> can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Oh, can I not fly in the town? Revelio. No. Hogsmeade, here I come. It's not what I was looking for. Press G. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, cool. And there we go. The game has opened up. That is very cool. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay. I'm smiling ear to ear right now. Though my voice probably doesn't reflect that very well. But let's continue on with this. Meet with Professor Weasley. You know, and just to, for the maiden voyage, let's fly over there. Because we can. Uh, it'll be quite a bit of a flight, but worth it, honestly. Can I just hop off my broom mid-flight? Hold B to dismount. No, okay. <laughs> that would have been really cool. The castle is nice and lit up, too. I wonder if it was all built with magic. Like, the whole thing. I would assume so. <laughs> I don't know. Can I dismount somewhere and get inside of Hogwarts? What is this? It's a window. <laughs> uh, something tells me I'm going to have to start down here, aren't I? Yeah. Alright, dismount. Let's just run all the way up. You know, there's a lot more uh, perspective, I guess, on Hogwarts, since it's not like in the movies. Uh, there's a lot more to it that I didn't realize. It always seemed relatively, not necessarily small, but a lot smaller than this. Especially with the uh, giant dining room and stuff. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Oh, hello. Sure. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Okay. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Yeah, sure. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. 
I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Okay. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh... Very nice. I think what I'm going to do is going to rack up side quests, but continue following the uh, and main then quests. The werewolves join the goblins, goblins the werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. <sighs> no, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fine! Fight. It's a bold attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? <laughs> Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Uh -uh. <sighs> and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boot and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Flack. <laughs> that man's a menace. <laughs> I think I have to retrack the main quests. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this way. He, he's quite a joy to come across. Um, very strange individual. Oh, no, that's a spell I don't have. I don't... Huh. Interesting. Whoa, is that a, are those stars? It's a galaxy or something. That's really cool. Why is that weird? Rebellion. I keep forgetting that I can do that stuff. The tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmsey, foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact on the arts had he succeeded. <laughs> Oh, freaking ridiculous, okay. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. I didn't do anything, though. Stop flirting with Professor Weasley. Come on, Mike Hawksong. You're a man of many charms. We know this, but not her. Oh, wow. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. Oh, I have something for this. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Okay. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Okay. There's some chairs in our way. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco. The vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. As usual. Okay, let's go for it. Boop. 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 And boop. Okay. Evanesco. 
Sounds like a gas station. Splendid. Now. I cannot wait till we have another one of these. Um. I'll just do that. Evanesco on those chairs. Incendio. No, no. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Okay. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Well, apparently they're super sneaky and know where we are at all times. Wow, those are pretty. Little lanterns over there. Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Okay. Yes, Professor. I'm assuming I'm gonna find him. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Oh, I can't make him go bye bye. Okay. Moonstone. I wonder if that's valuable. Anything behind you? No. Let's uh, move this one. Hopefully I didn't break that. Probably did. Oh, there's tea. Oof. Okay, yeah, I definitely... Can I still jump up there by chance? <laughs> oh, I can. The skills, the parkour. Alright. Let's keep going. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Well, I'm clearly going to lose a professor in here for eternity. What? No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oof. Okay. Let's uh, trim that bush. Flush the toilet. Bit offended the room. Thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Okay. A lot of stuff to mess with. Ooh. Oh, I like this color. Very nice. I'm more of a blue person. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Gotta do squats, my cock's long. Gotta make sure you get those squats going. What was that? Oh. oh. Was that oh. a golden snitch? Yeah, yeah, grab it, grab it, grab it. Wait, where'd it go? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> I see that I'm just going to be berated by a bunch of pictures and paintings. Um, is there like, I don't know, the elf somewhere? There's no way. I, I hope that house elf can find us in here. Yeah, there's no way I'm finding Professor Weasley ever again. She's gone. We gotta find something scary, perchance? There he is. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. She picked us, apparently. Uh, hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. 
what I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. I need a billion dollars, I need a billion dollars, I need a billion dollars. The rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah! That's cool. And it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent! It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, you have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any unidentified gear that you've collected. Okay, we have something just like that. Um, is it just automatically do it? You'll find okay. plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. Confirm them. Yes, will be an can I not light this on fire? No, okay. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Oh, lovely. It's a little... Well, loop de loop. Conjure power of water. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Huh. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Well, uh, I don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and conjure some stuff. Um, conjure a potting table. Oceans. Small botanical. Interesting. Herbology. Gothic. Desk of description. Okay. Conjure a potting table and a potion stable. Potion station. Uh, let's go gothic. Oh. Nice, I, it's literally base building. Okay. Can I rotate? Yeah, I can. This is a potion, potion server. Let's uh, place it there. Okay. And then we need a pot. No, 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 not that one. A gothic one, because yes. I'm trying to be really emo in here. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. 
Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Okay, he's snapping things over there. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. What a shame. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Okay. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Oh, I would. I would very much like to learn more. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, thanks, Deke. Um, another thing? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. I already got it. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Uh, do I not have enough? Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Okay. Poor guy. I'm assuming we got another one. Dee cannot believe how many beasts you have here. What do you what do you mean, beasts? There aren't none. Am I gonna put my mounts in here? There are some mounts over there. Okay, anyway. Um this would be a good stopping point. Thank you all for joining. I would I like to teach you when Guardium Leviosa. Ooh. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Professor Girl looks super cute. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll cut it here. Thank you for joining. I hope you're enjoying. And we finally hasn't seen this many plants got here before. the broom, ladies and gentlemen. We have it. And well, hopefully I use it. I, I've been pretty accustomed to fast traveling, but... Uh, yeah, and the next one, hopefully, we'll have enough Moonstone to continue Professor Weasel's quest. But until then, bye everybody.